Good morning, everyone. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. At 3.44 a.m. local time, there was a magnitude 3.1 earthquake. It says here, 8 kilometers northeast of Alm Rock. It's actually along the uh, Calaveras uh, Fault Zone, which joins into the Hayward Fault Zone. 3.44 a.m. local time, Pacific Standard Time, or 5.44 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Some of the reports on EMSC, they said it was a magnitude 2.8. Felt my room and bed shaking in San Jose, and it gives their zip code. Mel Pitas felt the shake while laying in bed. Felt the jolt while laying in bed. I was only, I was the only one in the bed. Laying in bed watching TV, felt a quick jolt. Gentle shake for a couple of seconds, followed by a hard jolt. Ah, uh, what else we got here? Quick jolt. Jolt. <laughs> it's early here. Bed shook. Could feel the shake and hear my TV on the wall rattling. Felt it here in San Jose. A quick jolt. Another one from San Jose. Santa Clara. It was reportedly felt. Uh, while well, house rattled and woke me up. Yeah, there's a lot of reports here. Um, apartment rattled. Cats woke me from a nap. They must... Uh, work some different shifts. It was side to side, practically north and south, or northwest and southwest, rolling feeling. Not very strong, but distinct. Kind of a rounded feeling, almost liquid sloshing. Not like being in a boat. It wasn't enough to make anything in my room rattle. Now, they were 20 kilometers southwest from where it occurred. A uh, quick shake that woke me up. They were 24 kilometers away. San Francisco Sunset District. Uh, they didn't feel nothing, but they decided to report. I imagine reports will be slowly coming in. People probably went back to bed and went back to sleep. It's now up to 311 felt reports. The felt report was as far as Stockton right now. Um, San Francisco Bay Area. I guess that would be the Sunset District, maybe. And as far south as, what, what do we got down here? Davenport, uh, Santa Cruz Mountains, San Mateo. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, Los Gatos, one report. San Jose, two there. San Jose, 63 there. Another 12 on that section of San Jose. Another 52 in that section of San Jose. 111 responses there. Uh, Sunnyvale, 24. Los Altos, 1. Sunnyvale in that location by Memolo Park, 6. I used to live there. Which is by East Palo Alto and Redwood City. Uh, San Jose, 22. And Fremont, 5. Near Newark. It's still early, so there's going to be a lot more reports coming in. Dublin, one response, which is near um, Castro Valley, Pleasanton. You can see it all there. All right, so here's Google Earth. Here's Calaveras Fault. This here is the Hayward Fault. And those of you that live there should know that the San Andreas Fault is not as dangerous as the Hayward Fault. The Hayward Fault would do a lot more damage if there was a major earthquake in that location. The San Andreas Fault Zone may be 700 miles long, but the Hayward Fault is more dangerous because it runs through more heavily populated areas. It's a ticking time bomb. Here on the Los Angeles Times, it says the Hayward Fault is so dangerous because it runs through some of the most heavily populated parts of the Bay Area, spanning the length of the Beast Bay from San Pablo Bay through Berkeley, Oakland, Hayward, Fremont, and into Melpitas. Approximately 7.5 million people live in the San Francisco Bay Area. Can you imagine the death, the injuries, and the destruction when a major earthquake decides to happen along the Hayward Fault? How many people would be trapped for hours 
in elevators, if not longer. How many people would be trapped under debris for hours, if not longer? One scenario says that there would be no fresh water for over six months in the uh, Bay Area there. And then the aftershocks would probably last six months to a year or longer. The last time the Hayward Fault had a major earthquake was in 1868, and that was a magnitude 6.8, seeing how the average of major earthquakes occur about every 80 to 150 years. It's been 150 years since the last major earthquake. So, according to geologists, you guys are overdue. Here on the moment tensor ball, you can see how the fault line moved going north and west. Yep, the continents are moving. We're going to see an increase in earthquakes. We're going to see an increase in volcanic activity. Just before this 3.1 by Merced, there was a magnitude 2.2. We also got the uh, pinnacles, a 2.0. I don't see that on here. Pleasant Hill, which is up by Concord, a 1.9. Uh, 1.8 by the Pinnacles. A 2.7 Concord. Um, Melpitas, a 1.9. Same close location. A 1.5 Vine Hill. That's up north there. Uh, what else? All together. There's been 34 earthquakes on this map in the last week. Then on December 31st, along the San Andreas Fault Zone, there was a magnitude uh, 3.3. Um, a lot of people felt that earthquake. 5,717 people reported feeling that earthquake. And yeah, if uh, the Hayward Fault had a major earthquake, you would probably have a reaction from the San Andreas Fault Zone. All these fault lines are connected. And when you have a major earthquake along one fault zone, yeah, you will have a reaction by the others. And it's a huge misconception thinking that these smaller earthquakes relieve pressure to prevent a larger one. Not true. It is just an indication that stress has built up. And any earthquake has a 5% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. So, did your animals react in any way um, prior to this earthquake the day before? What did they do during the earthquake? Did you have anything fall from the shelves? Are you prepared for a major earthquake? Six months without water and all the fires that would start? Remember the 1906 earthquake um, damage was mostly from the fires afterwards of course a lot of people were killed from the uh, earthquake but the fires is what basically wiped out the city and they had a dynamite to uh, bring down the buildings to stop the fires are you prepared to be on your own for weeks are you prepared to be on your own for rescue water is the one main essential Thing that your body can only go three days without and six months without water everyone thinks the mama government's gonna come in and rescue them um, sorry no um, they're gonna be overwhelmed people need to be prepared to be on their own you need to have a plan where to meet loved ones at least some basic first aid um, knowledge that you would need so what are your thoughts put your comments down below thank you for watching i'm also on twitter you can support my work on patreon all links are down below please stay safe and i will talk to you later god bless y'all bye